All right, in this video, we're going to talk about plugins. So plugins lets you dynamically load new functionalities to your code without having to recompile the code that's using it. If you're new to my channel, I teach OpenCV, Computer Vision, Python, C++, Git, ROS2, SOLIDWORKS, Mechanical Design, and I have a GitHub that goes along with it. So subscribe to learn more. So here we have some C++ references if you need some refresher on classes, inheritance, virtual functions, namespace, exception handling, or shared pointers. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go to our ROS2 workspace and navigate to the source fold folder here. So we're going to go ahead and create our package here using the ROS2 package create command. And we're going to call this package polygon base. And inside of here, we have our dependencies plugin lib. And then we're going to have a node name called area node. So we created this package. And we can see up here, we have our polygon base here. And what we're going to do is create an abstract base class. So we already have the file called regular polygon.hpp, and we're going to move that into our include polygon uh, base here in our include. So inside of here, we're just going to go ahead and copy our uh, regular polygon file. So I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste it inside of here. So here we could take a look at our, our regular polygon. So Inside of here, you see we have a namespace called polygon base, and we have a class called regular polygon. So inside of here, we have some virtual functions. That's one is initialize area and the destructor regular polygon. And then we have a protected regular polygon here. So virtual functions, again, I have videos on that. You could check it out in my C++ series. But whenever you have virtual functions, it means you need to implement it. So um, that essentially sets up the base class for this. So if we go back into our readme, we're going to see our next step is after we do that, we're going to modify our CMake. So we're going to take a look at our CMake file and the changes that's been made. So inside our CMake, we see that we're doing this include here. So install directory include, destination include, and then we added this part that says amend export include directories include. Okay, so these functionalities allow this to become a lib that we could then later use. So I'm just going to copy this, the contents inside, go into our CMake list here, and then just replace it with the updated content. And then if we go back here, that's all we need to do for our base class package. And we'll go ahead and build it later. Um, but for right now, we're going to take a look at our plugin package. So we're going to create our plugin plugin package called polygon plugins. So we're going to go back to this terminal with our source folder, and then we're going to run this command. It's going to create a package called polygon plugin with these dependencies. So we're going to go ahead and run this. So if we take a look here, we have our polygon plugins package that's been created. And we're just going to put in some source files. So if we look into our uh, file here, polygon plugins.cpp, we want to move that into our polygon, um, the source folder. So inside of here, we have our polygons right here. This is our file. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then as the instructions that I have for you, we put it into our source folder. So if we find our file and inside our source, we see that we already have this. It's currently just a basic implementation. So uh, you can either copy the file or copy the content. I'll just go ahead and copy the content, which is the same thing. I'm going to delete that and replace this. And you can see that what this file does is it has all of our content for our Polygon plugins. So inside of here, we have a namespace Polygon plugins. And then our class is a type square, which is inherited from our Polygon base regular Polygon. You see we have implemented the initialize and area functions. And then here we have another class called triangle, which is also inherited from our polygon base regular polygon class. And again, we have initialized, uh, made the function initialize, implemented that, the area. And then here's a new get height. 
And then all of this stuff right here, poly, the plugin lib export class will allow our square and triangles to be visible um, when we're actually using it. So that's what those commands are. So once we have modified the CPP file, then the next step is to take a look at our plugins.xml. So that's a file that we're going to need. So if we go back into here, we're going to find our um, XML file, and then we're going to put it to our ROS2 workspace source polygons plugins. So if we take a look at our plugins real quick, here you can see that what this says is uh, library path polygon plugins. The class type, you have a square. The base class type is a regular polygon. And then for a second example, it's a triangle one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and then going to move it over. And you notice I like to right click because sometimes my control C doesn't actually respond. So that's why I do it that way. Uh, but you can see if we come back here, we're going to put it in our polygons plugins inside of our uh, workspace source. Just anywhere inside this package is fine. So you can see we have a plugins.xml here. And then finally, we want to update our CMake list. So let's take a look at the changes we've made. So inside of here, let me just first copy that over and then I'll move it into replace everything that's here. So we could take a look at everything here. We could see the parts that we added, plugin lib export plugins description file, which contains our XML file, polygon uh, base plugins.xml. So this is um, our XML file. So if we take a look back here, polygon plugins. And then if we scroll down, we take a look, that's all the changes that we have for this file. Okay, so next up is gonna be the build step. So we wanna actually use the plugin now. So the key point is the area node.cpp can use triangle and square implementation created in the polygon plugins without having to include the polygon plugin class. And ignore this typo here. So here we're gonna go ahead and go inside our polygon base area node, and then we're going to update the file that's inside. So you can see here in our polygon base inside of our source, we have our area node, and we want to replace that with this area node. So I'm going to copy this content and then replace this. So you see inside of our main function, we have some command line stuff. And then here we have the plugin called class loader. And then we're loading in our polygon base as a regular polygon. And then here inside, we're going to do a try and catch. But inside the try, you see that we're actually um, calling our polygon plugins triangle here. And this is where the plugin is actually being used. And then same with this part, we're using calling the square one. And we're both initializing to them as 210. And then we're just outputting the area of each of the um, shapes that we have implemented. OK, so that's for that. And then the final step is we want to build the package. So if we go ahead and go to our terminal, we're going to cd back one. So we're going to go ahead and build our package. So first, we're going to build this one the Colkin build packages select. We're going to build the polygon base and the polygon plugins. So we're going to paste that. And then if we run it, this should build both of our packages. And then the final step is we will want to actually try to run it. So you, we have the polygon base finish, and then now it's building the plugin. Both just finished. So as usual, we need to source everything that we just did to take an effect. So now we could run the ROS2 run polygon base area node. And if I run this, we see the output triangle area, square area as we expected. Okay, so this, this example here shows you how we're using a plugin in practice. So in my next video, I'm gonna talk about ROS step, which is something that's used to handle dependencies. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, 
give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.